Hi, we're the Ikeviches from Northern New Jersey, and uh, we just want to discuss how we uh, arrived at banking the cord blood for our children. We have three of them. After doing research, I realized that there are a lot of benefits to this, and the benefits far outweigh the cost. My next step was to determine which cord blood company to bank with, and which one what I thought offered the most benefits uh, for my children and for their future. After that, it was really a, a slam dunk to uh, choose CryoCell and to choose uh, them for my daughter Courtney. And you know, it was really easy to sign up. They were very helpful with giving me information, and I've uh, never looked back since. Uh, we obviously had more children after that, and it wasn't a question of who I was going to bank it with. Just uh, when I was going to make the phone call, how far along my wife went in order to uh, get the, the kit sent over so that we could be prepared should she get into labor early. From there, you know, I looked at it more as life insurance. You hope to never use it, but you're glad you have it when you need it. Uh, and uh, we actually needed it at one point uh, with our second child, Rebecca. We noticed something early with her that she wasn't developing as quickly and there were some delays and we went to various different doctors. Basically, you know, in the end she was diagnosed with apraxia and the recommendation to treat that was therapy. You know, this wasn't on the list of one of the curable diseases and I just wanted to know maybe there's a chance that Corlo can help this so I just contacted CryoCell and to my surprise it was something that uh, was treatable it was something that another family had used it just wasn't listed they were very helpful to get me to the right facility to the right doctor and uh, we actually ended up going to Duke which is one of the best children's hospital in the USA and uh, everything worked out great from there. It's now a year after the second dose, so a year and a half after the first, and we're seeing tremendous improvement. The first time we infused her, um, it was just small things like um, buckling her seatbelt, making a little bit more eye contact. The second infusion, she just exploded with language. and. No, it's, I, you know, to, to restate what my wife had said, literally her vocabulary was limited to 10 words, maybe 20 words at tops, and even those 10, 20 words. You had to prompt her to say them, and they weren't full words. The second infusion just boosted her to, like, actually complete the word. Complete a sentence. Thanks, Daddy. Rebecca, do you want to play outside? Yeah. Yeah, I still outside. Spell your name. Uh, I love you. Her vocabulary increased. Now it's like her vocabulary is like a couple of hundred words. Her expressive language has also blossomed. She would always play independently and by herself. She now plays so nicely with other kids. It brings Amazing. a lot of joy in our in our hearts to see this big change in, in, in her. A lot of people have said to me, oh my gosh, Rebecca has made so much change over the course of a year, what did you do? So I tell them and they're like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. You infused her with the stem cells and she's made so much progress with just everything. She's like a totally different kid. It's amazing to see like, are you sure this is the same child? Did you bring me a, a, a stunt double or something? Because this is not the same Rebecca I saw a year ago. Looking back, the best thing we probably could have done for our unborn child is this, cryocell and have be ready to bank it once they're born. Because it is a once in a lifetime opportunity to bank it for them. And you don't get a second chance. If you have to sacrifice something to get to it, I think it's worth the sacrifice.